What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix the twin ui bug inside windows 10 now if you're running windows 10 you'll probably know that you cannot change uh, the default programs in the settings pane uh, when you get in there you'll see a uh, twin ui so let's go to settings here and then go into apps even when you go into apps and you go to default apps when you click on uh, the default apps on the left hand side all of these will say uh, twin UI inside there and you won't be able to change them. So let's click on here. As you can see here, they say twin UI and you won't be able to use any of these uh, so they'll be corrupted. So what you need to do is reset these and I'll show you. So system registry corruption, which can be reset and I'll show you how to quickly do that. It's not that difficult to do. But once you've done that, if you're still having issues, I'll show you some other things that you can try to try and resolve uh, this problem. So we're going to be using this script here. This is basically a little script to uh, reset uh, all the apps. Now you can do it with a command, which is basically a big code. And I'll leave that in the video description if you want to use that. I just wanted to give this a try as well to reset the apps. And uh, that's what we're going to be using. So open this up and you'll see reinstall, pre-installed apps. Right click and run this with PowerShell. That's all you need to do. Click open here. And this will open up the PowerShell window and you'll see a bunch of text flying down the screen. Don't worry about that. That's pretty normal. Uh, you may see the odd red bit popping up here and that's just because the app is running and it can't uh, reset it. Uh, but it should be OK. You should start seeing it all uh, come up on the screen here. So don't worry about that. Just let it do its thing. It will take a bit of time. You can see there's a little error there. And that's OK. You can read the error and it will tell you uh, the app needs to be closed. So you can close that app if you wish and rerun it. Uh, but I'm interested in what it's resetting here. It's in attempting to reset the package. And you can see here it's resetting the photos and all the other ones, which is normally what this is uh, pointing to. So let that just run through its processor there. I'll leave the link for this in the video description. It's safe to run and uh, it's just basically a script that uh, runs the uh, reinstall of pre-installed apps on Windows 10. So next up we're going to go to the run box here and we're going to paste in this command here. I will also leave this in the video description just in case that did not work for you. And uh, you can see here this is the app data, uh, local packages, Microsoft, Windows and Photos. It should already be working by now but if it isn't just create a, a folder on your desktop with photo backup and uh, copy all the contents in that location to there and then restart your PC and it will rebuild that for you and hopefully that should resolve your issue. Now the reason why we're doing that because sometimes there's an issue with the photos application in Windows 10 and doing this sometimes helps uh, resolve that problem. So what we're going to do next is try one more thing. We're going to go down to the search box and type CMD. Run this as administrator. Command prompt box will open up here. And we're going to type in here SFC space forward slash scan now and run a scan on your system files to make sure there's no corruption with any of the system files on your Windows 10 operating system. Now, if you do get an error message popping up just like this one, then there's a corrupt file and it couldn't fix it. And you may need to run other commands to try and resolve this problem. That means you've got a problem. So you can try the dism command, which is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Run this. It will take a bit of time to run and hopefully your problem will be fixed. Now you can check it out afterwards to see whether it's resolved your issue. You may need to reboot your system at that stage to try to fix any problems uh, that you may have had. So let's go back in there and see if this is now working. And when you go into here, you go into apps and then you want to go into obviously the default apps here. Once you go inside the default apps, they should now all be as they should be. And hopefully that will be the end of your problem and you should be back up and running. You should see something like this mail maps, uh, Google, uh, Groove Music, also photos and film and TV. You should see that. If you don't see that, then you're still seeing uh, Twin UI, then um, you can need to uh, do something else. And I'll show you what else you can do. You can create a new user account or you can use System Restore if you have System Restore points available on your computer. If you don't, then try creating a new user account. I'll quickly show you how to do that just in case. And other than that, 
if this is not fixed after that you may want to do a fresh install of Windows so let me just quickly go to settings here and what you want to do is go to uh, accounts in the settings pane and once you're inside here you will be able to create a new user account for you okay now you will need to copy all your data across I've made videos on how to do that so if you don't know how to do that part go back into my library look on my playlist and do a search uh, for those videos so click on family and other users and then you want to add someone else to this PC what you want to do is click on the add or plus button there and this will uh, start to create a new user for you I'm creating an offline account here so I don't have this person's sign-in information but if you do have that sign-in information you want to log into your Microsoft account you can do here uh, but I'm going to add a user without the Microsoft account at this stage because I want an offline account once you get here you'll see you can just put in some new username if you want to do that you put in your new username whatever you want to use and a password if you are using a password on that account once you've done that so I'm just going to quickly put in here a new username for myself let's just put right on here and you can put a password here I'm just going to leave this blank uh, for now and then click on next once we've done that it should create an account now you should see an old account there now we will need to log into your new account and rebuild that account and then copy all your data across from your old account to your new account once you've done that you can then delete the old account let me just show you how to quickly delete an account here make sure you copy your data across first before you delete it just click on it and you should see here remove you can remove this but remember this will delete all the account data on there so make sure you copy all that data across before you delete the account okay and make sure you log into your new account to build that account before you delete any of the data that's important okay otherwise you're going to end up losing all your data on that account and you'll when you boot into your new account there'll be no data on there for you to use okay so just do that and you should be pretty much good to go now all you need to do here uh, once you've uh, done all this is uh, log on so you can change the account type here and also you want to change the account type uh, to administrator you can see we're on a standard user here make sure you're on administrator here for that account when you log into it click OK and you should have administrator privileges for that account now and you can log in and you're good to go hopefully all your problems should be resolved anyway always back up your data before you do any of this sort of stuff with your computer just in case something goes wrong and make a registry backup as well just in case something goes wrong and you've always got something to roll back to even the system restore point it will always help you in the long run anyway i'm going to wrap this one up my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you're enjoying the sunny weather we're getting in the uk right now have a nice barbecue and i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.